welcome to vlogmas day 23 we're just getting ready to go to the kitty hospital Morrow's already he's been sitting in his cage all morning <laughs> ready to go are you excited you want to go i'm gonna go to the hospital they might have to stick something in your bum i'm sorry i couldn't get a poop sample my friend told me they like them to be less than three hours old he pooped last night and it looked normal which is really good but there's nothing this morning, so we don't have anything we can take with us. But thanks to the really helpful comments that you guys left, I heard that I can just take him in without one and they can, like, scoop something with the Q-tip or something if they need one. So we're going to try and do that. Are you ready, Maro? It's going to be a great day. I'll get you some snacks. <laughs> he slept with me all morning. He was so cold last night. You know me, her. Three hours later. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Finished. More almost snack time. So good news, they didn't find anything wrong with him. I guess that's a good thing. It's still kind of worrisome though because obviously it's not normal to have blood in your poop. But um, so we took him in there and it was a new doctor that he had never seen before. I didn't recognize her name but she was super sweet and I was really, really happy with her. We've taken the cats into this vet a few times but it's usually a different doctor that they see because the doctors switch up depending on the day. Um, and I had one before that I didn't really like. He was really rough with the cats and they were really uncomfortable with him but this lady was super nice. And um, Maro did really well. He didn't seem nervous with her at all. She asked me a couple questions like how he's been feeling, how much he's been eating and drinking, etc. And I said everything's normal except for the little bit of blood that we found in his poop for the past two days. Um, but actually last night's poop was normal. Yay! It, was, it looked totally normal and there was no blood in it so that was a good sign. Um, she said it was most likely something that's irritating him and she asked if I had switched up his food or anything and we haven't. Like we've been giving him some new treats here and there but I feel like it's not enough to irritate him, but maybe we should stop giving treats for a while together and just see. Uh, first she took his temperature and there was nothing wrong with him temperature wise, and then she stuck her finger up his butt, <laughs> and I was so worried that he was gonna be so angry with that because he usually hates the temperature thing. And, but he was really good. He just sat there, he was so good. <laughs> and she was feeling around for any bumps or lumps or anything abnormal in there and she didn't find anything, so that was good. And then she scooped up a little bit of poop for a sample and she took that to the back and it took her about half an hour and she came back and told us that she didn't find anything wrong with the poop either. Big thank you to you guys who left comments saying that you work at a vet's office or you know somebody who does and you gave me advice and stuff. I really appreciate it, you guys. It's really nice to hear different opinions about what I should do. So I'll show you what the, the poop test says and you let me know what you think. If you think that I should take him back in for some kind of different test, like if this wasn't thorough enough or something, um, let me know and I will. She thinks that there's nothing to worry about, but I'm always... I'm always up for like double checking <laughs> and like doing all the tests so if you think there's something else that I should do to get him checked out, let me know. He's all cozied up now, he must be exhausted. Did good today. Yeah, good boy. He was so good. He was mostly scared in the car. He was howling in the car and as soon as we got into the vet he quieted down. He was really good after that, <laughs> especially with seeing the doctor. Oh, sleepy boy. Okay, let's see. So this is color, smell, hardness, uh, and those were all normal. Over here they were looking for eggs, like warm eggs, and there was nothing. Uh, this one's looking for bugs, I guess, and there was nothing. And this was looking for any type of bacteria that shouldn't be in there, no problems there. And this last test was looking for any traces of blood and they didn't find any blood in there at all. So that's what made her think that it was just like a, a one-time thing and he should be okay now. But let me know what you guys think. 
since today was a very cat themed video, I figured we'd finish off the video with my cat Christmas hat, which I'm happy I found another reason to wear. Flashback to Vlogmas last year with Taylor. She got this for me. And yeah, we're gonna finish off the video by unboxing my pushing subscription box from Clara. Thank you again, Clara. You're so sweet. I'm so excited to open this. I've actually never seen an unboxing of the pushing subscription box, but I'm amazed at how heavy this is. It's really heavy. Like, there's something substantial in here. This box is so cute. I hope I can find something to use this for after. Whoa! Oh, everything's so cute! Where to start? Oh my god. Okay, let's start with this because it says pancakes. Oh, it's a pushing pancake pan! And it can be used on electric stoves. That is perfect. I didn't know I needed this in my life until now. And it's like, it's sturdy. This is heavy. That is so cute. Let's look at this. This is really cute. Pushing box exclusive toadstool pushing. I wonder if there were different ones in each box. That'd be fun. So cute, look at the little tail. I love how it's vinyl, I love vinyl figurines. All of this is going to Korea. I'm just gonna have a house full of pushing stuff now. Thanks to you, Clara, thank you. <laughs> oh, pushing sweater. Aww. It's a fall themed sweatshirt. A little blanket. Oh, it's a bath mat. Even better. I love it. How perfect is this for our new house? The only problem is we have one of those weird Korean bathrooms that's like toilet, sink, shower, all in one room. So I'm not sure where I could put this. Maybe in front of the toilet. I'll try and find a place though, because I love it. What is this? I love how it's all house stuff. This is so perfect. This looks really cute. It's got little pom-poms on it. Aww. So adorable. Look at that pillow cover. It's really soft feeling fabric too. Um, so far this box is amazing. What the hell? This is the best subscription box I've ever seen. This is a pen, I'm assuming. Little pushing pen. It's really nice how everything matches. I love the mint and pink theme. No way, what? A shower curtain? I'm not gonna unfold this because I just wanna pack it up like this and send it straight to Korea. But on the little info card here, we can see what it looks like. There's the shower curtain right there. A fall themed shower curtain. Again, in the pretty mint color. Two things left. A little notepad. And another fall themed pushing plushie. This box must be seasonal. Oh my God, do they send to Korea? I was so sad when they wouldn't send one to me in Japan. I wonder if they send to Korea. Probably not if they don't send to Japan, but like, I really wanna sign up for this now. Pushingbox.com. Ah, it is seasonal. Apparently their winter box is shipping now. <laughs> no, <laughs> ship me one. Oh, they ship to Japan now. And not Korea. Are you kidding me? Hey, pushing box, please start shipping to Korea because I will order it and advertise for you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> well, it's promising that they now ship to Japan, so it looks like they are increasing the countries they ship to. Hopefully they can um, swing something there for Korea, that would be great. Let me like zoom in on everything and show it to you guys, but it's all super nice quality. It's really cute, it's all useful stuff. I'm so pleased with this. So we got a beautiful mint pillowcase, shower curtain, notepad, sweatshirt, plushie, vinyl figure, a pancake pan, a pen, and a bath mat and a really cute box that I will find a use for. 
This is so cool. Thank you so much, Clara. Oh, I'm so stoked to put everything in my new house. <laughs> Luna was watching me unbox from up here the whole time. Are you jealous of my pushing box? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, short and sweet. I will see you again tomorrow. I'm just super relieved that Maro seems to be okay and there's nothing wrong with him. I was really, really worried about him. Tomorrow, Keyboard Sun and I will be doing our annual Christmas tradition. There's something we do every year here for Christmas. So I'll be sharing that with you guys tomorrow. I hope to see you then. Hope you're having a lovely holiday. Bye guys, thanks for watching.